guys, uh, okay, I want to start off by saying I apologize now if I seem a little lethargic. I'm having some neck issues. My neck's really bothering me. I get this thing, and I call it hot neck. I have this, like, weird vertebrae, nervy thing going on in my neck, and sometimes I just, it makes me feel carsick. So, I really wanted to get these videos out for you. I did a get ready with me <laughs> earlier. I took a nap in between. My lipstick stayed on and so my eyeshadow. I can't wait to edit that video because seriously that's going to be a hot mess. Like I was such a hot mess during that video. I had to keep stopping. Oh my god what a mess. Anyway. So I went to the VIB sale at Sephora and I got some stuff. I got some stuff that I've never ever tried before so I wanted to tell you guys about it. Actually what some of my first impressions are because I used some of that stuff in the Get Ready With Me and I used some stuff last night. So, you know, whatever. I got my bag, I got my tote bag. I actually got two tote bags because I went back twice in one day. Holy moly. And two separate driving trips as well. Oh god, I have a problem. My first trip was in the morning. Look at my hair, it's all messy today. So yes, this is called Sam. I just got up from her nap. Alright. <laughs> Three Sephora's one day, if I'm gonna be totally truthful. The first Sephora I went to, I picked up the, the new, uh, I don't know if it's new necessarily, but it's the Kat Von D Lock and Load Makeup Setting Spray. I keep getting asked to do a review on this and I decided, yes, I'm going to do a review on it. I'm really not thrilled with some of the setting sprays that I've been getting lately, so the only one that I feel like really keeps my makeup in place was the Model in a Bottle and that stuff smells so bad. I got this. I did set my makeup earlier today when I did the Get Ready With Me and I took a nap for a while and my makeup's still on so it can't be that bad. The mist though is very thick. Like the drops that come out of the mist is very, very like they're big. It's not like dispersed well. But I'm really excited to uh, get to know this product. It seems like a pretty good product. Yeah. I also picked up a full size, um, oh, you know what, let me show you what the bottle, did I show you what the bottle looks like? No. This is what the bottle looks like. It's really, really pretty, classy, just like, uh, all the rest of her products looks. Really sleek looking, and I love the rose, uh, the rose design. I also picked up a full size Prime New Poreless by Too Faced. Now, I've had a sample size of this forever that I've been using, and I never bought the full size, and I love this primer. I feel like as soon as you put it on your face, it just makes your pores just, poof. It's just like magic. You just, whoosh, it's gone. Love it. I really love this. And I got something that I have been on the search for for like a month, and it's been sold out everywhere I got it. And that's an Urban Decay lipstick in Venom. Wearing it right now. I legit, okay. Mm, I love it. I don't have to swatch it for you, do I? Guys, look, it's on my lips. I've been on the hunt for Venom for like over a month and every time I go into Ulta or Sephora it is sold out. I found this one packed and I, I looked underneath and it was like in the back laying down flat underneath like a different color so I think someone hid it. Haha, <laughs> ha, I found it. So I bought it and I was super excited and I got all these things 20% off. Yay! So I was really, 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 really excited to finally get this lipstick. And on my way out, this this is kind of tragic, I saw the Beauty Blender uh, Solid Cleanser and I was watching someone's video and I forget who it was, but she was saying how she uses this to clean her brushes. So before I pull my bag out, and I just grabbed this and kind of bought it, I pull my bag out before and I look at it and this, t this tag is kind of pulled up and then I open it and it's totally friggin used. Like somebody bought it used it once, hated it, and returned it. Like, Sephora put it back on the shelf, and I didn't notice, because it was kind of like, I picked it up on the side, I picked it up on the side and kind of put it in my bag. Like, I didn't examine it, but I can't believe that they put a used product back on the shelf. That's disgusting, so I have to go bring this back and get a new one, but whatever. I'm excited to use this, but not this one. Ugh. A friend of mine, and I forgot who it was, oh god, it was either Jamie or Alicia or Melissa, I forget. Someone told me Lorac had a, a new luster drops and there was a four pack, but my Sephora didn't have it. But there's another Sephora inside the mall I go to inside JCPenney. So I went and then they had it, so that was my second Sephora of the day. So I got this luster drops and it's uh, in their new limited edition Rockin' Red Hot line and it's got which is so beautiful. I'm so excited to use this. It's got the 
crystally white one, and then it's got this pewter one, kind of like a dark, um, kind of like a dark maroon brownish one, and a and a, and a bronze one. So I love my luster drops. I'm almost all out of these. So I'm so excited to get this. And this was 28 and one luster drop is pretty close to that anyway. And I got the discount. So happy. Okay. And that was it for that trip. So then I went home and I was watching Vintage or Tacky Cora. I was watching her uh, VIB haul. And okay, first of all, everyone's talking about this hourglass ambient light palette with the three ambient lights in there. Oh, I'm so frustrated because it's sold out online. Every Sephora I've gone to doesn't have it. The, one of them doesn't even carry hourglass. I'm so upset. So I was watching her haul and she was wearing this lip color that was insane. Insane, insane. And it's like 30 seconds into the video I was like, I needed it. I was hypnotized. So I resolved that I was going to convince my husband to go to Roosevelt Field that night, back to Roosevelt Field, and get it. So we went to the mall that night. Yeah, I did. I did it. And what's funny about this, this is the Hourglass Iconic Red Lipstick. It's $10. What's funny about this is that I saw this the first time I went to Sephora that day, but it didn't have a price on it, and it wasn't in like the right bin, so I never got it, and I passed it up. This is it. It is a liquid lipstick and you put it on and it dries. I'm going to insert a picture of it on my lips. I put it on and you, I had to build it up a few layers. It kind of reminds me of the Velveteens by Lime Crime, but this color is even deeper and richer and more beautiful. It was only $8 with a discount. I, <laughs> this is why I went back to Sephora. This is so, so beautiful. I've never seen a red lip just so perfect and would look good on everybody. And yeah, I went, I went back. So <laughs> Cora. Cora, this is your fault, Cora. Um, I went back and got this lipstick because of her, and I was thinking about it the first time, and I passed it up because of the price, and then I just, I should have just gotten it the first time. I didn't. Whatever. So, uh, I also picked up my Clinique Bottom Lash. I figure I got the 20%. Get that, and I got that too. The last thing I got, and this was because of two people. This was because of Cora again, and also because of my friend Sammy that I uh, watch here on YouTube. They were both talking about the Ambient Light Palette. So I had to get this one. Sammy said that her pores went whew, gone, whoosh, gone as soon as she put. She's like, I have no pores right now. I'm like, okay, I need that powder. So this one is like 43, and the other palette's like 58 or something like that, but you get the discount. So the other one is a much better deal, but it's sold out, and I didn't want to lose... Um, I didn't want to lose the discount, so I just went ahead, I got this, and I figured, hell, if I like this, I can always get the other one later. I got the color Dim Light, and I used that to set my makeup today. I'm a little scared that it might be a tiny bit too pink for me, but it's just this beautiful illuminated powder. Um, you can't really see it on my skin, but I, I used it to set my makeup today. She's right. It made my pores just disappear. I mean, how beautiful is the packaging, too? Like, hourglass packaging is gorgeous. It has, it's probably the most gorgeous packaging. It's between this and like the Urban Decay lipsticks. I love this, this color. So I'm really excited to try that. It's a little bit pricey. I'm not going to lie, but this powder better be the bee's knees. Okay. Oh, I also got a free sample. Million perfume. I already have this in a roller roll. So, all right guys, that's it. That's all I got. My VIB three trips, Sephora, one day, three Sephora's one day. I think I'm going to name the video that. Three Sephora's one day hauling. Oh yeah, baby. Be on the lookout for these products in future tutorials coming up. If you like this look, there should be a tutorial linked below in the description bar. Give this video a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.